So for the last five days, um, the weather here in the UK has been absolutely amazing. Um, it's just been this incredible heat wave. Unfortunately though, um, I'm in the middle of writing up my PhD thesis at the moment, so I haven't been able to get out at all in the nice weather. Um, so it's now the weekend and I've decided to give myself a couple of days off of writing up and I thought what better than to come back to Dartmoor. Um, so if you've been following the channel, you might have seen the videos I did here earlier in the year. Um, I went down to Great Staple Tour and I promised myself back then that I was going to come back again later in the year. Um, so here I am and this weekend I'm going to head up to a spot called Great Lynx Tour. Um, not sure what to expect photography wise, but um, it would be, yeah, I hope we will be able to get a nice shot up there. Um, the weather is a bit blue sky at the moment, um, which isn't great for landscape photography to be honest. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just had to get out and just get out of the office, get outside, enjoy the good weather, um, do a bit of camping, just reset that battery a little bit. Um, so that's why I'm here. Unfortunately, Hannah can't join me this weekend, so I am on my own, she's working. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll just be me. But um, yeah, we'll head up there and we'll see how we get on. It's a Saturday in July, and apart from a few sheep, I've got this place completely to myself. It's beautiful. So, because I've managed to get up here quite early, I've given myself loads of time now. Um, before sunset to basically wander around and try and find a composition which um, which will work. Uh, so many times when I've been doing photography, I end up getting to a location too late and it just becomes a mad dash and a mad rush before sunset to, to, to sort of just find a, a composition quickly before it's too late and, and get that image. Um, now, you might have seen a video I made a few months ago, which was um, where I, I did set myself a challenge of taking just a single image up in the Brecon Beacons. Um, and one thing I learned from that was just spending that extra time working out your composition and giving yourself loads of time to work, not having to rush it, uh, can be so valuable. Um, and it's an approach which I've been trying to implement as much as possible since then. I've certainly not been repeating the whole one image, one exposure uh, challenge thing, uh, because there's just no need with digital photography. It was a useful exercise to do once. Um, I don't see myself doing it again. Um, but it, it has taught me the value of getting to a location early and giving yourself loads of time to actually wander around use the camera off the tripod and just try and find a composition that works. So because I've got a, a good few hours now before sunset, I've got loads of time to do that, which is fantastic. Um, it's exactly how I like to work. Um, so I'm going to get the tent set up. I think I found a good spot for it, um, just here roughly where that rucksack is, because it's nice and sheltered there. But before I do, um, I am going to have a quick wander around with the camera just because I, would, I, I don't want to set the tent up in the middle of what could be a good composition. And I don't think this is going, I don't think this location here for the tent is going to interfere with any composition, so we should be okay. But I just want to double check before I actually get that tent set up because it would be really annoying <laughs> to find that the tent's in the way of a good image. So having decided to put the tent in that spot, um, I'm pleased I did have a wander around because um, yeah, I have actually found a composition where the tent would be right slam dunk in the middle. So um, I've decided on another spot, so I'm going to go and get the tent set up now. So I've had some coffee. I've had some dinner, which was something absolutely horrible, which I bought in from a camping shop and boiled in a bag and probably won't be buying again. Um, but now I think it's probably time to get the camera out and start uh, having a wander around and seeing if I can frame up some compositions.
So I think we're almost at the time to start taking photos, but not quite yet because the sun's still a little bit too high. Um, I've got a few compositions in mind which I'll probably be running around like a headless chicken trying to take um, when the time comes because um, there's quite a, quite a few which I think I'm going to just give a go and see if they work out. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to work out to be honest, um, but basically my, my thinking behind these compositions is that w the last time I came down here to Dartmoor my favourite images were ones which I had where I had this kind of slab of rock right in the foreground and it created a nice foreground interest. Um, so I'm kind of trying to go for something similar with these compositions. Um, we'll see how they turn out. Um, certainly you can let me know what you think below. Um, but um, yeah, I'm also, I, I did have a bit of an experiment with the lens, so I do have a 14mm lens with me. Um, and actually I thought that might work better in this in these circumstances. So I did give it a go just now, but to be honest, yeah, I wasn't really getting on with it very well. So I've gone back to the 24mm, um, but there's one composition which I think is going to work well as a panoramic. Um, so I'm going to try doing that as well. So the sun's um, now just starting to go down in just behind a bank of cloud um, over towards the horizon and we're getting some beautiful colours in the sky. Um, so I wanted to pop up here um, to take a photo of this, I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> um, I do know what they're called, it's just completely gone out of my mind so I'll pop it up on the screen, whatever this is. Um, and um, yeah, I think it's working okay. Um, I'm not loving it to be honest, um, I'm not a big fan of man-made structures in, 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 in images. Um, but when I was sitting up here earlier and I saw this, I thought, yeah, you kind of have to take a photo of that. So that's what I'm doing. This is another one of the vantage points which I scouted out earlier. Um, and I think this is, of all the sort of views which I've been scouting around, I think this is the one which is showing the main tour off the best. Um, the sky is actually a really nice colour at the moment. I really like skies when they hit this kind of pinky bluey colour. Um, it's almost kind of blue hour, but the sun is actually still up. So, um, yeah, but because the sun's A, behind a cloud, and also hiding behind the tour which I'm taking the image of, um, it's actually giving quite a diffuse type of light as opposed to that kind of harsh light that you get in the golden hour. Um, so I think this this image might work quite well. I've got the main tour as the main sort of subject of the image and that's sitting on the right hand third of the image. Um, camera's pointed down a little bit so the horizon sat on the top third and um, yeah I think that it's, it's, it's kind of this image is sort of showing the size and the perspective of this particular tour better than some of the other vantage points which I was I was sort of running around earlier so um, yeah I think it might work out okay. Okay I'm actually back at the spot which I had originally picked out as being possibly the top spot. Um, I've got the I still haven't worked out what it's called, the thing that they use for doing maps, Ujima flip thing, um, <laughs> up on the top right hand third of the image. Um, but the sun's popped up back out from behind that cloud now um, and it's just lighting up red. So we might be able to get a sun star with this. I'm not a big fan of sun stars, but um, yeah, I don't know, sometimes they work. They seem to be the go-to thing when I'm down here at Dartmoor. Um, but uh, yeah, what I'm going to do here is have that one image with the finger me bulb in the top right hand third of the image. And then I think what I'll also do is try a panoramic here as well because um, this is the bit, this is the spot which I was trying to squeeze in with a wide angle lens and I just, yeah, it just, just wasn't working. So um, yeah, I'm going to go for a panoramic instead because I think this might work quite nicely as a panoramic.
so I think that that's I think that that's probably the best of the light gone now um, for this evening um, I can't see it getting much better so I'm probably going to call it a night I think photography wise um, to be honest with you I think I've struggled here quite a lot um, uh, certainly in comparison to when I went to Great Staple Tour I just haven't found it as easy to get a good composition here um, but do let me know in the comments below what you think of the images I have managed to get but like I say I, I, uh, I found it quite frustrating um, I'm hoping that when I get home and look at the images I think oh, actually they're okay um, but I don't, I don't know maybe I feel like the more I'm doing photography, the more I put myself under pressure to get great images every time. Um, and yeah, I, I, sometimes I think it's okay to come out and not get great images. And so I'm not going to worry about showing you these images at all. Um, I think that you should see them. Um, but yeah, do let me know what you think about them. Um, I don't think that they're as good as the ones which I got at uh, Great Staple Tour, but we'll see. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night photography-wise, um, and uh, we'll see how I get on in the morning. Good morning! Apparently, um, oh, I woke this morning to the sound of rain splashing down on my tent. And I thought, fantastic! I get to have a lion. And, um, <laughs> I must look a complete state right now, I'm so sorry. Um, um, sort yourself out, Sam. Sort yourself out. Does my hair look better? No, okay, never mind. Never mind, you don't care anyway. Oh, so <laughs> I, I got out of tent and looked out and despite the fact that it sounded like it had been raining and that the how well, it had been raining, um, I looked out and there was pink in the sky and I was like, right, get out, go for it, go and get a sunrise photo. So I crawled up the hill and um, uh, the sunrise was beautiful, um, but I found, yeah, so I, I sort of didn't really think about locations yesterday for sunrise, or didn't think about compositions for sunrise, so after running around, desperately trying to find somewhere which would work, I settled on this spot, which has got um, this main sort of tour here, um, and I, I, I actually think it works quite nicely, uh, at least it might work quite nicely. But the half of my brain, which is semi-awake, thinks it might work nicely. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, anyway, let me know what you think below. Um, not about my hair, just about a photo, please. No comments about my hair. had a coffee and I'm feeling a little bit more awake at least so that's good um, but yeah I've also managed to sort out the hair problem genius um, so I think that's pretty much it now for this trip I'm gonna get the tent packed up in a second um, and head home um, I think it's been a really good trip actually I've really enjoyed myself uh, it's a fantastic location here I've I really do love Dartmoor, it's amazing. Um, I had no idea yesterday morning where I was going to go for this weekend. I had no plans laid out at all. Um, so I thought I was going to maybe go camping and um, 
Yeah, I was looking around online at different different places to go to. I was looking down at Dorset, for instance, and um, all those places you kind of have to stay in campsites, but you do have to stay in campsites. Um, and I was looking around a lot of websites for campsites, and a lot of them were, I, I've got to be honest, really quite harshly worded in some of their websites for sort of minimum booking of three nights and we do not take bookings on Saturdays and it was quite harsh I thought um, and I thought well sod it you know all these places that are being so kind of harsh about trying to find somewhere to camp where well, you're going to end up camped up next to loads of other people anyway um, it's going to be rammed they're not going to like you getting up and driving off in the morning for dawn and that kind of stuff so I thought, sod it, I'll come to Dartmoor where you can legally wild camp as long as it's, you're not on the firing range when, when, they're, when they're doing firing testing. You can come down here and, and just pitch your tent up anywhere. And I've had this spot completely to myself all night and the view is just amazing. Just to wake up in, in this location with this view. Yeah, it doesn't get much better to be honest. Um, so it's been fantastic. Um, to be honest, I think I've struggled to get compositions at this location um, in comparison to Great Staple Tour where I com camped last time on Dartmoor. Um, I think Great Staple Tour was probably more photogenic, but I think we might have managed to get a couple of shots here. So um, anyway, do let me know what you think below. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks so much to everyone who subscribed to the channel recently. Um, by the way, we really, really appreciate it. Um, thanks for your support. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then do consider subscribing. We've got some great stuff coming up. It's not just me babbling on all the time. It's um, uh, Hannah as well, hopefully, and, and more videos coming up soon. Um, but yeah, so please feel free to leave some comments below on the video and uh, hit the like button or the thumbs up if you like this video. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.